Hey Chris, I'm here today to tell you about my brand new best friend, Petite View. Are you ready? It's a little tiny thing. It's a baby view. So view <laughs> when two views love each other, um, they they can have a baby. A petite view. Um, so okay, it's like so... in browser view, which regular view does anyway. That's that's a thing. But it's like that view is big view, and this yeah, is little so, view. So like regular view, big view. You can like go view dot component, yeah. and then you do like my component, and then you like have this big function in here that does all this stuff and mm. you're like data blah 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 like you can do this it's not like, okay may even be wrong about this because it's because it was like data template and then your templates like div whatever stuff goes here you know okay you can do that but it's like you're typing into a giant javascript object and it's kind of not that fun yeah, uh -huh. your mileage may vary. Uh, I, but you could it was really it, it was a really good tool for like if you had a legacy Java application or something like that, you could like just patch this in, and you're use, getting all the power of view, and you're just building into that. Maybe not all the power because the single file components is kind of a big powerful part of view, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, and you've done that for real, right? That's not theoretical. You can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've done that for real, and it's like pretty cool, like. Um, it, that you can kind of we authored like this you know complex like filtering system and stuff like that like in uh basically a jekyll site or an 11 site like you can do kind of a lot of cool stuff like just using that api mm -hmm. however it be it can kind of be a little bit overkill or it's like 30 kb from the view uh instance so if you had something else in there like jquery or whatever bootstrap has or whatever that could kind of add starting up starting to add up yeah sure starting to add up uh, that's, well, that's fine. But, um, the, a new subset of view or, or even kind of just a, a different take of view came out. It's called petite view and petite means small in French. Obviously. It's got that French uh, thing going on, which, which Evan is fond of, I believe. Yeah. It's, it's sticking with the theme of, of that, but I just came to here to copy this one line. So this is script, uh, yeah. source, uh, petite view defer in a knit and this is going to be kind of a weird little thing but that like auto calls in a knit function if you think about what it like that. so yeah that's it's not standard little, right or i don't is it? think that's standard i think that's a little special sugar uh that uh yeah. the t view is offering to the script tag or itself. yeah okay okay um, but anyway i thought i'd just like whatever let's just do this basic example just to see how things get going and you know Ooh. what i'll uh is it entire like fonts Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, ready? that looks good. Yeah. All right. So div, div. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so. So you're uh, angle bracketing already. Counter. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. For... I'm writing HTML. So in the key of view is or petite view is this V scope thing. Okay. And this tells this tells view where you want to mount, like the scope of the elements you're kind of operating in. And this is just like Alpine or or some of those other kind of new um, kind of light touch sort of systems like Dom yeah saying okay systems. this is the parent and the application is inside yeah. there and then in here you basically write like a, your state object your local state right so Ooh. counter and then we're gonna have it be zero and it's just an object and look at yeah. that we've already done this uh, you know we could. So yeah, I noticed 10, that even before you had the V 10. scope on there, that the double brackets, it was like wiping that out. Yeah, so it's taking over that. And I, I can show yeah. you a little trick that I kind of came up with to like fix that, you know, but uh, well, we can get there. But um, okay. like, uh, so anyway, now what? Now you put a button. How do you increment the counter? Yeah, this is so let's do a BR because we're web professionals, right? And then uh, we have button, right? Yeah. Increment. And this apparently, you know, you just type the, you do the counter example, like button, click button, make things go up. And people are like, ah, oh, instantly I understand all of TV's <laughs> concepts. Uh, so we're going to do that right here. But this At is click. click. That's a view thing, right? Yeah. Um, uh, and then you just do counter plus plus. We're just going to increment the counter in the state. So incrementing. 
Pretty cool, right? Mm, yeah. And it's, so think, how, how much different is this from regular view? Like none? Zero? Uh, like this part? None. None. This right. V-scope thing is kind of new. Uh, okay. All like right. you, you'd have to kind of do the, the stuff in the data. So it's not, you know? it's not compatible. You're like either using petite mm, view or well, view. Yeah. Okay. It, I don't technically mean to Technically it's you. not. Technically it's not. You'd have to like, this would have to be, well, here, I'll just do, I'll, I'll type out the quick, quick version, the two pit, 10 peso version of the, uh, of, uh, yeah, you'd have to make what, a template. what the okay. single file view component looks like. And then it's like a uh, script and then it's, uh, you do export default and then you do a brace and then you do data and then you do this. That's where you, you set your counter is. And then you do uh, counter zero. This is, this is the view component basically. I see. So that's what it would look like in. So that's a lot big, more big terse. Petite that's, view. that's nice. Chonky view. That's chonky view <laughs> in petite view. <laughs> chonky view in petite view. <laughs> so that's chonky view. Um, you know, and then you, when you have view, right, and, and you get access to kind of all the cool view things, like we can just do style, font size, uh, psh, let's do, or we do the escape, and then we do, we'll do 16 plus counter pixels. Right, what? and so, oh uh, wait, hold on, hold on. I see I you have a. That. There's like a straight. So now, like, we can just <laughs> keep. In <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Like, if you're gonna do the increment examples, you got really increment. The syntax type. weirds me out. Like, no, no, I, okay, there's a colon before style. That's just to make it different than HTML. But what's with the template? Literal. That's weird. Oh, that's just whatever. Are you so the colon means you can type JavaScript in here. You know, okay. I think in, in whatever React land, it's like you kill this, you know? Oh, I see. And now now it's like mad at me. It's like you're using JSX. So, yeah. Um, so it, it's just I'm doing the template literal. This this uh, is short for B, B, V bind. But know, you can right. use this on any attribute and you kind of turn it into a JavaScript attribute. So Clever. I like um, it. Yeah. So anyway, this is... So here's what's cool, right? I, I made the world's most important application, the increment button. I've used zero CSS, and I've used zero JavaScript. Yeah, that's pretty compelling. That's pretty cool, right? Elastic on Global is coming up real soon. It's October 5th through 7th. So go to elastic.co slash shop talk. That'll get you where you need to go. Go ahead and hit that register button and go because it's free. You might as well. Elastic is a great company with makes all kinds of great products and they're throwing this big, huge conference. The website for it is really nice. Let's say you're interested in site search. I know I am on Elastic Search and I care about security. Look at all the sessions that you can go to for free to 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 expand your mind and learn all about it or check out the speakers page this is a huge conference 90 sessions with just speaker after speaker after speaker this is going to be an awesome event register it's free go elastic.co slash shop talk and you yeah. can do this with like toggling things on and off um what is it over on the best website in the world daveruper.com I used it on my bookshelf. And so you did an on change these... handler on some radio buttons that. Yep. Yeah. Basically on change or on input, I think is what I'm using because input's cooler than change, but um, it might be change. But now I have key bindings. Like this is just yeah. a, basically a field set of radios and styled labels. And I can, I have keyboard bindings that I can cycle through all this stuff. Just boom, instant. It's surprising to me that you like it so much because I feel like at one point you're like, I miss, because it looks declarative. And at some point you're like, yeah. I think I prefer not declarative. Like you liked the like jQuery style of. I you, do like chaining stuff, like methods, like kind of, kind of building onto stuff. And I saw something kind of interesting in that vein, like this week. And, um, but this, this for me is like, I get pretty good reactivity for like zero dollars, <laughs> six kilobytes basically. Yeah. And I have a pretty good reactive system. Like this whole thing is like, 
you know, to be honest, like this is cool, but this counter example is kind of boring to me. Like I don't actually super care about counting elements up. So I have another example. Oh, you my, um, let me see here. I'm going to save. And then I've already kind of, uh, or let's see here. Um, let me go find it because I know I had it at some point in my, I'm trying to look for something really quick too. Cause I feel like there's that one time Leah Veru got obsessed with like JavaScript libraries that you you, ne you don't write JavaScript to use. They're only ever controlled by HTML, oh, uh, which okay, is yeah. probably fueled by her. She wrote Prism, which is kind of like that, right? You don't write mm -hmm. Prism. It has a JavaScript API, but probably most usage of it is you just link it up. And as long as the attributes are in place, it does what it does, you know? And I feel like she made like a little micro site of stuff. But anyway, we'll show that some other time. No, yeah. I think, yeah. So, so I did this, I, d I made a little app that fetches yeah. data because for me, this Whoa. is like, this is like what you want to do, right? This is, you want to fetch data yeah. from stuff and, and spit it out in a list of things. And so I'm hitting, but I have to import, I'm not doing the HTML import the or the like script tag defer init thing. I'm actually importing like a module, a JS yeah. module. Yep. And then you have to do this create app function. And here you have to kind of, uh, this is where you set your scope, your, your state. This is your default state. Uh, and then also like functions and stuff and, uh, yeah, that's just your own function. So, so petite view doesn't so. say only ever use HTML. You, you, of course you can use it with you can JavaScript, write JavaScript as well. too. Yeah. yeah. So you can kind of take this as far as you want. So I'm going to get the, uh, star Wars API. Um, is that Raymond Camden? I'm not sure who does maintains that, but it's pretty cool for me. Um, <laughs> just like when I'm like, oh, I'm going to see if I can actually get data. So. Um, you fetch the URL and then where, and then like, I'm going back. If there's, if there's a next response or next variable in the response, I'll go and get more people and then oh. I'll just chain it all together. So it's actually yeah. making like nine different requests to the API. Um, so don't use this and hammer it, but then, you know, I'm setting it. I just set V scope and that again is just telling view where to mount. So start working and operating on this stuff. And then this is my little trick here. Okay. I say at mounted L hidden equals false and then get the people. Um, uh, is this your like flash of unstyled protector? Yeah, kind of. So I'm just saying like when, when this is mounted, I want you to get people, but then you can unhide the, the thing. And so it's probably going fast on my thing. Maybe you want to wait until like next tick or something like that to unhide it, but that's what it's doing. Is and L of like viewism too? That means self or I think this that's like a, I, I could be 100% wrong. I think this is a petite viewism that it's kind of offering you the element instance of itself. That's actually that's no, nice. I'm going to say that's maybe in view because I feel like I've used that recently, but yeah. anyway, so, and then once you have that, uh, I'm setting it in items. Remember like in here, I'm adding to the items, right? Yeah. Um, and then I'm, so you can just uh, hang data through. off the object there and it just knows that it's state or whatever. You know? Yeah. 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 It's, cool. it's just kind of like, you can just loop through data. And I feel like this is like where I want most things to get to is like, go get some posts from this weird API I have. And you know, the client mm -hmm. was said, Hey, you have to go fetch this from my blog for dogs website and put it on the website. I don't want to like build a big integration. This is great for that. So, yeah, cool. And, and this feels really real world. Cause of course, you know, getting some data from an API and templating it and putting it on the page is like <laughs> most of work. Yeah. In, the world, totally. in, in a way that totally. what's the, and this is not like purposefully not designed for SSR really. Right. Like this is intent. Mm -hmm. Like this is made to be used in the browser. That's the point that was the yeah. game here. I think yeah. the, the idea was this was made to be sprinkled on and that was sort yeah. of the, the term that was used. So, um, so it's, it's something and then, you know, so it's something you build and then uh, what I like about this is it kind of adds an element of progressive enhancement. So it's like this whole thing's hidden until the JavaScript mounts and it's going. And so that can yeah. be kind of cool for your users. Just this, this, whatever blog for dogs or the star Wars 
character list never shows up until you're like in until you like yeah yeah know and again that matches with some css you wrote right is that in there because you've said uh, did you set ul hidden true no nothing no well, it's oh just using the default hidden oh hidden attribute there yeah. it is oh that's even yeah. better it's super mm -hmm. declarative then yeah, 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 and you get the I, you get the sense this is pretty popular. I mean, I kind of have, but I mean, mostly because you're excited and the Discord's excited and stuff. So my <laughs> bubble's a little small, but it feels like there's a lot of people that certainly the Alpine is big, and so and which is a you know by all accounts a pretty similar approach. You know, yeah, I mean, I think Alpine uh, kind of got some legs, especially with like Tailwind. It was in its documentation, and and so I think it this style of like, Hey, I'm just going to very, I'm going to lightly manipulate my HTML yeah. rather than like, you know, and I, again, I, with this, I've done no build tools. I've done no, <laughs> nothing. This is nothing. just in the browser. It's about, I don't know, six lines of HTML and whatever this is 20 lines of JavaScript and I can fetch as much data as I want. So that's yeah. a very light touch. I feel like that's designer friendly too. Um, a lot of people can operate on this without any overhead to your build chain. So I think there's a market for it. Uh, I know a lot of people are kind of excited about it and, and, you know, maybe we'll show off some of those projects cause they're pretty cool. Uh, but I think people are building with this. I don't know. You know, I think there's a message on the repo that's like, uh, <laughs> this is pretty new use at your own <laughs> risk. So, you know, that's probably not going to pass your like enterprise uh, <laughs> software uh, procurement process, but you know, yeah. um, it, it, I would, I would use this whenever possible just, and, and I'm happy to kind of be experimenting with it because it feels like a pretty good fit. Like, and subscribe.